opportunities for AI and robotics to capture data. Well, joining us today to speak about that, Marin Chakarov, CEO of Kindred. Marin, it's good to see you, welcome. Pleasure to be here, Russell, thank you. Marin, let's just talk about the state of the industry, if you will. We talk about artificial intelligence, talk about AI, exactly what is the state of that in terms of supply chain organizations? What would you say? Yeah, thanks, Russell. I would say that largely, surprisingly, uh, there's a ton of white space and a huge opportunity for further adoption of AI-powered type technologies, techniques, solutions, uh, and, and so that's tremendously exciting uh, to, to see. Uh, there's, there's a lot of, like I said, opportunity to expand with these tools, and particularly in today's day and age where we have supply chain challenges, inventory shortages, data is everything. Knowing where things are and where they are in the supply chain process is the, the, the difference between fulfilling your, uh, your customers' orders and, 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 and uh, upholding your, your, your commitments throughout your organization uh, versus not. Clearly there have been a lot of challenges that have cropped up in the last couple of years because of the pandemic. We know that it has created blockages in terms of getting the supplies that you need, the parts, the raw materials that you need. Delivery has been impacted. Labor has been impacted. Any number of things in the supply chain have been impacted. Let me ask you this. As we speak to each other at the Modex trade show, are you seeing an interest on the part of the attendees in AI? Is artificial intelligence something that they are interested in learning about? Absolutely. It's been an incredibly busy couple of days already, a few days through today. The, the level of interest is tremendous. Uh, Folks, like I said, the white space is quickly getting uh, getting its 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 day in the sun, so, shall we say? And, and there's a, a great level of interest in adopting these types of technologies. Again, what we're looking at is having real-time data that clearly can help shine a bright light on, on inefficient stages or, or parts of the the process, whether it's in a in, in a manufacturing facility or, or a supply chain fulfillment um, and and customer fulfillment type facility. These these uh, tools that are AI powered, artificial intelligence based techniques, tools, solutions, uh, provide real time data that can be put on dashboards, again, like, like right as it happens to be consumed, so processes can be tweaked as on the go, rather than to wait for batches to be published days later, weeks later, uh, to consume that information. You know, when you think about it, the, the challenges that we've been talking about mean that there is an unpredictability about the supply chain, about one's future operations, et cetera. It's just built in, and that's obviously of concern to people. So when they come to you, I'm sure they are saying, in essence, I want to know how AI can build in resilience into my supply chain. Well, what do you tell them? How can AI help them? Yeah, two ways, basically two dimensions of adding or bolstering further resilience in terms of operations at fulfillment centers, for instance. Uh, one is increasing the throughput, so increasing the speed with which, again, data that's real time and, and, and processes that can be tweaked to increase the speed and therefore throughput, help with uh, it, you know creating that buffer and therefore further resilience in terms of operations. And, and secondly, but also incredibly importantly, uh, you know, any workforce shortages, any any issues with ebbs and flows with respect to workforce. Uh, again, the pandemic has taught us a, an incredibly harsh lesson, you know, in terms of, you know, sickness and availability, uh, but but it goes beyond that. It, it, goes, uh, it goes with weather issues, it goes with natural disasters, uh, uh, hurricanes, uh, tornadoes, or you name it. it you know, any uh, unpredictability with respect to workforce shortages gets augmented uh, and leveled off. And so the resiliency gets, gets sort of twofold um, approach from those two vectors, from those two venues where uh, it, it, you know, we bolster, we see a bolstering of, of uh, supply chain operations through, uh, through those two aspects um, in, in terms of resiliency. Cannot overstate the importance of resilience, no doubt about it. So that was a great drill down into how AI can help one in that regard. Uh, I want to know how I'm doing in my warehouse operation. I want to know uh, what my performance metrics are showing. So I guess my question to you then would be, how can AI help 
that particular aspect, my performance metrics, what are you going to tell me? Yeah, fascinating. It, certain aspects with respect to traditional automation have essentially physical, sort of physics limits. It, you know, a com conveyor belt moves with a particular speed. It, it, you know, it can't cross past such and such performances that way. But AI-powered tools, techniques, particularly with, let's say, reinforcement learning algorithms in the wild, in production settings, can, can help essentially increase the performance. Systems, artificial intelligence systems, can learn on their own to become better, faster, smarter in collecting data and performing tasks through those reinforcement learning algorithms. And that is a tremendous aspect of, of a, a system that gets smarter, better, faster over time to deliver better output on these metrics and KPIs at our customers. Moran, I want to bring this home now. I'm gonna, I want to talk about Kindred itself for just a moment because I would imagine that a viewer is going to say, all right, I'm, I'm very much interested in what Moran has been talking about, but I want to know what his company, what, what uh, Kindred can do for me. So, here's the question. How is Kindred optimizing the operations of its customers? What do you say? Yeah, Kindred AI, most folks know us for SORT, which is an AI-powered machine vision grasp and manipulation technology based on our autograph, patented autograph core uh, platform. And so with AI powered machine vision, sort essentially automates a sortation function at e-commerce fulfillment centers across a customer base with customers such as Gap, J. Crew, Under Armour, and others. We have over 300 uh, robots in, in production settings as a fleet. We're incredibly proud with that fact and that's not from yesterday that's over several years, nearly five years of operation in production settings where we've learned tremendous amounts of how to comply with these critical metrics that our customers, uptime, defect rates, uh, as well as throughput requirements. And so uh, over that time, we have uh, fulfilled nearly 400 million pieces sorted history to date. And most folks, that have attended the show this week uh, probably have also seen that we released, we announced a new product that's a complementary product for induction automation. It's an ultra high speed dual arm product with in process scanning capabilities for five, five, uh, five sided scanning capabilities as well as in slot detection capabilities upstream and downstream on a unit sorter uh, that essentially moves at 1.6, 1.7 or so meters per second when we place uh, packages of a uh, variety of sizes and shapes up to four kilos, eight pounds or so. So we're incredibly excited with that solution. Uh, it bolsters speed and throughput of up to 2,000 PPH parcels or packages per hour. Uh, and we're incredibly excited to release that in, into, uh, into the wild, so to speak. Well, Marin, you make a compelling argument for investing in this particular technology. Thank you so much for sitting down and speaking with us. Thank Pleasure you. being here, Russell, thank you. It's Marin Chakarov, Kindred, speaking with us today about AI, perhaps in your warehouse operation. Thanks for watching.